Hello everyone, JWR here, and I've been waiting to do this one. Character appreciation. Motherfucking Zack. Not from Dead or Alive. No, I mean Zack with a big ass buster sword. I mean this motherfucker. Oh my lord. I I'm still trying to figure out why they killed him off. This is the motherfucker Cloud wanted to be. This is the man who went out there and beat the shit out of everybody that got in his way without his sword. And then he got his sword and just resumed beating the shit out of everybody. That was his job. That was his fucking objective. He wanted to protect his friend Cloud. He put Cloud in the corner, put the sword away to make that like a fucking shield, and then he went out there and resumed beating the fuck out of everybody who had guns with his fists. What the fuck? This is the one dude that's like, fuck you all. And they're all like, oh my god, we can't stop him. He's like, I'm the giant bitch. And he hit people and they went flying. And it looked like the Matrix and he didn't give a shit. He's like, I don't care. I'm here to protect my friend. I'm gonna fuck y'all up. Die. And they did. The only reason why they got him was because he was still trying to protect his friend Cloud, and there's a bunch of them that showed up, and he's just like, oh, fuck. Me. What the hell? What the fuck is all this? Was that necessary? Did y'all need all that many people? And then the Turks kind of flew by, like, oh, look at this shit. We got him covered. And he's all Turks, like, what? Why are y'all here? Ow! Could y'all wait for me to answer the rest of this guy? And, of course, he was so dangerous that not only did they shoot him and he stopped moving, they walked over as a group, as a regiment, and they walked over, surrounded his ass, put it on straight down, and proceeded to unload clips into this motherfucker. This is after he they shot him and knocked him down in the first place, and they continued to unload on him. Oh, my God. How much of a threat does a person have to be for a whole regiment to shoot a person while they're down? How much of a threat? How much of a threat does a motherfucker have to be for them to take a regimen and empty and waste clips in this motherfucker while he's down? I mean, jeez. Holy fuck. I don't even think they went that nuts on Wolverine. They didn't go that nuts on Wolverine. They had a firing squad. They shot Wolverine once as a firing squad and was like, oh, he got up. Fuck this. He just threw him in there. No. I hired those motherfuckers. Shot Wolverine, he fell down, he started getting up, but he... whole regiment, over him, Brrr, pump him full of lead, if anything, he'll have a problem moving, <laughs> I mean, jeez, Zach wasn't fucking around, but he died, he died, there's another way I can think of saying this. You fucker got killed. Ah! I mean, you can only imagine. You can only picture. You can only foresee certain things. You can only estimate the difference of what would have happened if it was Zack versus Sephiroth as opposed to Cloud versus Sephiroth. I mean, Cloud failed as a soldier. He failed. Are y'all hearing me? He failed as a soldier. He only took up the weapon because Zack got killed. If Zack didn't die, Cloud wouldn't have had a sword. And then Zach, uh, Cloud wouldn't have to act like Zack to get the shit done. No. Zack Zach was a happy guy. He was, wanted to help. He was out for his job. He did his shit. He, most of the people who got the most points for me for character appreciation, they do their shit and they know who the fuck they are. Those are the top two things. And Zack did his shit. Oh, shit. He, he did his shit. Now, unfortunately for Zack, when he tried to fight Sephiroth the first time, he kind of sat there, gave a whole big speech, and went at him. Okay, see, if Sephiroth is supposed to be a badass with a sword, you're not going to want him to swing at you. You, I have to agree with Cloud on that one, unfortunately, because Cloud, the first time Cloud attacked Sephiroth, he was quiet. He was stealthy. He grabbed the sword. He went into the room. He didn't say shit. He snuck up on Sephiroth and stabbed him. Yeah, that was it. He stabbed his ass. Sephiroth realized, uh -huh, that shit sucked. And that was the whole objective. That was what Cloud managed to do. It's like, I want revenge for Tifa. Guess what, sword? And go forward. And yeah. Now, Cloud, of course, didn't think this through and didn't hack the fucker down and kept going until he stopped moving. No, he just kind of stabbed once and go, uh. Okay. Zack tried to give a whole big speech and they started fighting. Boom, 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 boom. So, of course, 
he got wounded. Now, I state this because I know if Zack was fucking around, if if Zack was still around, like if, the, if those soldiers didn't show up and they made it to Area 8 or whatever, or Area 7, wherever the fuck they were going, and Zack trained up Cloud a little bit, why? Cloud had the sword and... Cloud... Cloud would not have been the leader, only because of the fact that Cloud looked to Zack for answers. Simple as that. But when Zack wasn't there, Cloud had to find answers. Which is probably why he started taking on Persona of Zack. But that's a whole nother story. Zack, in my view, was a badass. He had a lot of potential being an mega badass. They just kind of killed him sooner. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that was the whole thing. It's, it's, it's the whole situation of how would it have played out either way. I'm just going to stop on that because, you see, I, there's no other way I can say it. Zack was a badass. He protected Cloud twice. And the first time, he whooped the shit out of everyone with his bare hands. He just had to. The second time, he got distracted because the Turks showed up. And that fucked him over. And not only did they fuck him over once, but they ran over and they started shooting his ass. They kept him pinned down with gunfire. Not like he was going to get up anytime soon, but they kept him pinned down with gunfire. A fucking regiment of people shot him consistently into the earth. Let me say this one more time. Slowly and, with, slowly and calmly. So you hear what I'm saying. Zach was so fucking dangerous that when they got the cheap shot on him and took him down... The whole fucking regiment, short of two people, walked over to Zack and proceeded to unload a clip from a fucking automated weapon into Zack. I don't mean just like a couple shots. No, they unloaded their fucking clips into him. Why? They want to make sure he stayed down. This is like kind of like the Resident Evil movie where Rusker started getting up and they kicked him over and two of them just had a handgun and just proceeded to shoot his ass until they ran out of bullets. Yes, that was what a regiment of soldiers did with their fucking army rifles over Zack. Over Zack. He didn't show any signs of life. They didn't take any chances. They ran over. Brrr, a bunch of them. Do you know how many bullets that is? Even if I gave a nice rounded number of 15 per clip. And I know they don't have 15 per clip. But I'm going to give them 15 per clip per se. And there's at least 5 people. 15 times 5 is what people? Come on. Y'all got it. I'll wait. 15 times 5. Come on. You can do it. Anyone? Want it be 75? Actually, I think it is. Actually, I think it is 75. You weren't supposed to tell me. Sorry. I apologize, I'll go to the bathroom now. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Dick. Uh, <laughs> but, yes, about 75. So, that's about 75 fucking bullets in Zack. That's if they don't reload and shoot him again. <laughs> so, yes. Zack is definitely on my list because not only did he fight like a badass, not only did he keep an optimistic view on everything, not only did he do his job as best he could, but Air showed what level of threat he was when the whole fucking regiment had to go over and shoot him while he was down. That just tells you how much of a threat he truly was. Contrary to what games say and what other information was out there. If it took that many people to shoot him and to keep him down, then that tells you something. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, fuck. You tell me any other Final Fantasy character that got shot up that fucking much, and we can have a discussion. <sighs> but, personal opinion, Zack's up there. Positive attitude, knew who the fuck he was, always went after his objectives, tried to do his shit at all times, didn't hide from people, Fought straight forward and got pwned with a whole bunch of bullets. But that's not what game this points. 
You see, he had a lot of plus points. There, there's very few negative points I have for Zach. There's very few. Because he wasn't selfish. He wasn't self-centered like all the other characters were. He, will, he was always asking Cloud, what do you want to do when we get out of here? What do you want to do when we get to wherever? What do you want to do when we do this? What do you want to do when we get here? Why are you hiding behind the mask? Is this your mom's house? Is this my house? Is this your is this your mom's house? Then why do you want your mom to see you? Where's this girl Tiffany you've been talking about? Where's this person? Where's that person? See, he's very interested in other people. Which takes out the rest of the whole self-centered thing that other people had. So, you know what? He's on, he's on my good list. He's on my yes list. So Zach, good on ya! That's what I'm talking about.